I like that sweater. Oh, this is the only one. There's not any more of these. Hi, friends. Welcome to Drinking Beer with uh, Matingas. And I got a haircut. How's that? Shout out to the Hills Barber Shop for uh, giving me the haircut. Uh, shout out to Luis Burgos. He's one of the best barbers in the city because that's a thing. Uh, but let's talk about beer. I got my last case from the craft beer club because I can't afford paying them anymore. I mean, this is some of my student loans telling me I should pay my student loans instead of uh, buying beer every month. And I, I really can't pay that either. Uh, but they, I, I opened the case and I saw the Duck Rabbit Craft Brewery, but I confused it with dog food for a second. And I was like, oh, San Diego beer. And then I saw Duck Rabbit. I don't know if I know Duck Rabbit Brewery. They're from North Carolina. I feel like I saw them in on Reddit. Uh, the logo is the Duck Rabbit cartoony thingy. I haven't read this, uh, and I should have before doing the video, but I want to do the video without knowing anything about them. Uh, the beers look good. There's a porter and, uh, and a red ale, amber ale. Uh, amber, red ale is the same thing. They came uh, in my case, and then as soon as I saw the logo for this Double Mountain Brewery, they're from Oregon. Oregon is the same for me as California, and same with Seattle. They're the, 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 the West Coast. They all brew magnificent beers so i'm assuming that this kolsch is very good and i love kolsch oh, uh and a uh, vaporizer dry hop pale ale which i'm pretty sure is gonna be my favorite so let's save that for last let's start with the dog food brewery and um, i want to do this quick because i want to go play dota with my friends i mean lena if you play dota that's a weird fucking game uh, I, I should finish with the porter, but uh, I start with the kolsch actually. But I'm gonna uh, not obey any bitterness rules, and I'm just gonna do what I the fuck I want. And I'm gonna put on my fucking Houston Euler, Oilers glasses. I've had this since 1989 when I was like three years old. Which, by the way, I've been drinking beers since I'm five years old. Yeah, five or six. I don't know how old I am in the picture. If I learn how to edit video, I might post it right here. Shit, I didn't even want to pour the whole thing. Uh, North Carolina, Dog Rabbit Craft Brewery, 5.5 on the Amber Red Ale. The Dog Rabbit Amber Ale is a medium body beer with lovely tawny copper bronze color. You can see it. Uh, the glass was dirty, so the bubbles are sticking. The lightest of Dog Rabbit's dark ales, the Amber Ale is a great introduction to full flavor beers. It emphasizes malt and layer caramel malt flavors. The burning team put a lot of effort into this, so I hope it's good. Chimba, to Campinas. I don't think she cares about beer. She just wants to chill by me. Yeah, yeah it doesn't smell great. It smells uh, yeasty and uh, like hay, like grass. And with caramel undertones. That's a really good amber ale. It's not like your usual amber ale. I mean, it has the color of an amber ale. It's very coppery, more than tawny. It's more, it's more on the almost brown. Uh, and it's not the glass. It's, it's really almost like a brown ale, but it has... Yeah, that's really nice. It's really fresh. Uh, it's just straight up nice beer that leaves like caramel notes, I guess it is, but it's not really caramel. It's, it's not that sweet, but it just leaves like an almost butterscotch flavor to it, but it just barely there. That just kind of like just levitates the palate. It just stays there after just a nice swish of beer. It's, it's, it's good. It's so far the best from Craft Beer Club, and I still have more from this case that I'm excited for. So. Yeah, I mean, and again, they haven't been horrible, but they just haven't been on point. This comes all the way from North Carolina. This is perfect. I would definitely drink it again. Yeah, it's really good. And I'm not uh, big into amber ales, so I don't know much about amber ales, but I've had a bunch of amber red ales. Uh, and I'm not gonna lie, it's my top three. Uh, of Amarils, but again, I, I could probably only name you three. So, uh, yeah, very drinkable.
Uh, and like it, it says, it's a great introduction for people that don't drink craft beers because they're gonna drink that and be like, wow, it tastes like a nice regular red beer, but it has an extra, it's a flair. It's barely there, but it's there. And it's, it's good. So good job, Duck Rabbit, good job. The Duck Rabbit Brewery, I love the logo. It's a classic cartoony thing. But really good. Mm. I just burped the empanadas I just had. How gross is that? It's already going long. That's a porter. Smells like a porter. American porter. Very dark in color. The dark wrapped porter is robust ale with a pronounced flavor ro profile of roasted grace and dark chocolate. The brewing team also added oats to the grist for a round silky mouthfeel, the mouth is well balanced with hops to make the fantastic choice for fans of traditional robust as a straight up porter. Oh, that's my nose clogging up. Mm. Yeah. We'll definitely drink dog rabbit again. Even if I just see it, uh, I would love to try many of the beers. This is, it's very subtle too. It's not like a heavy porter with, it says that it's a uh, silky mouthfeel, but it's barely there. It's also very, it's very drinkable. Both of these are perfect for either beginner craft beer people or advanced craft beer people. Well, this is more, you know, people that like dark beers, but look, look at it. It, it kind of laces nicely as a porter too, even though it's my Houston Oilers glass, you can see the lacing on, on the amber ale too, the lacing is perfect. Great. Uh, I canceled my subscription to the Craft Beer Club. Uh, they finally sent me something that is pretty damn good. So far, pretty damn good. Now let's move to Oregon for the Double Mountain Coles and Double Mi Mountain Vaporizer. It's, I mean, hop on the label. I expect hoppy hipster Oregon stuff. Uh, let's start with the Kolsch, even though I'm a porter. I need to swish my mouth with water. But... Again, Crap Beer Club, uh, it's 45, maybe $47 a month for a 12 pack, which is an expensive 12 pack. You're paying nearly, uh, what's that? 12, almost $4 per beer, so. This, these are pricey beers, but they come from far away, and I appreciate it. It comes with this little, nice little thing, and every once in a while, they'll throw in, like, a gift thingy, like a bottle opener that's over there. And, uh, again, if you have the money to spend, it's worth it. I don't have the money to spend, so I can't do this anymore. Kolsch. 5.2, 40 IBUs. That's a, a lot of IBUs for a Kolsch. In Cologne, Germany, many breweries produce a light body all with a delicate fruitiness and rutted maltiness. A tribunal... This is the most I've talked in any of my videos. Attributable to the unique yeast strain, strain commonly used. Double Mountain Steak on the Kolsch has a touch more hop character than its counterpart, Cologne No Filter L. So it's a, col it's a hoppy Kolsch. I'm excited. Uh, I love Kolsch. They're very drinkable. People that like, this glass is so fucking dirty. My bad, guys. Uh, was, I'm a single dude. It's hard to just have more than one clean glass because that's all I need. It, it pours beautiful. Oh my god, this glass has like lipstick from a chick that came over like three months ago. It smells like a co got cold shit's not that hoppy. My nose just got clogged up, so. Oh, I'm excited though. <sighs> All right. Uh, it's interesting. It's not as hoppy as I thought it would be. Um, it definitely has a cold mouthfeel and a cold uh, swing to it and everything. But I think the hoppiness brings out like a super fruity flavor to it. Uh, it's fruity. Fruity as fuck, it's fruity. I don't know what hops they use. Uh, that might be the, 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 the switch in this, but uh, 
It, it's really good. It's very drinkable. It's just it has a hop character and the hop is all fruity. Not as a Berliner, it's not sour, it's very kolsch. It's a, a straight up delicious beer. Again, Craft Beer Club. This is my fourth or fifth case, I think. Fourth case with them, and it's been the best. I wish every case was like this. This is... Yeah, I like this a lot. It's a really nice, drinkable, regular beer, because Kolsch are very... Uh, regular beers, <laughs> very commercial beers is what I guess I'm trying to say. And it, it's not, they added hops, but hops is not what I get out in my tongue. It's, it's fruity, it's ap like pear, like between pear and apple. Uh, and, and it's delicious, I liked it a lot. And um, now finally, uh, dry hop pale ale. Wet hops are fantastic, but they use a lot of hops, but wet hops, if you haven't had a wet hop IPA, holy shit, they're good. That's what I've learned about Craft Beer Club while living in San Diego, Tijuana, and by doing this show, I kind of want to just review more beers of the region instead of everywhere, though I appreciate having beers from all over the place. It's been a great journey. I've had beers from Michigan, Virginia, Nebraska, uh, and now Oregon, North Carolina, and several more, and honestly, very good, very drinkable. It's almost uh, made for uh, for the public. Uh, so I, I would drink again, but it's not like I get excited for seeing, I mean, I, I would get excited to see a new Dr. Rabbit Craft Brewery. Um, but it's not, oh, I've never had a beer like this. That Kolsch. I never really had like a hoppy culture like that, and I like it. I get it, it's it's not what I expected. I expected more bitter, especially at forty IBUs, and it's it, it's just fruity in a way. It's weird. Maybe my my burn my my tongue has been burnt out with all the hops in California and in Tijuana. All right, last beer. This is already too long, and I apologize for the last video. That was. It's bad. I like this better, and it's not Friday today. I don't know why I'm gonna upload this, but I don't think I've ever been this happy in a fucking video. This is. It smells like an IPA. A golden hued pale ale that features a beautiful, hoppy aroma and flavor. Uh, no flavor. The double mountain vaporizer is an appetizingly dry, clean, and pure tasting take on a hoppy pale ale. Challenger hops, Pilsner malt, and a house yeast strain are the headliners in this brew, resulting in an agile, alluring, herbal, and supremely refreshing ale. The dry hopping pops up the hoppy goodness and really makes this beer sing. Oh. Uh, Oh yeah, that's delicious. Uh, again, on the fruity side. Yeah, yeah, it's fruity, Chimba. Uh, again, it's apple perry, uh, like the the skin of it. It's like an apple skin, pale ale. Fete, Chimba. Yeah. Or Okay, tú quieres? Yo voy a la mesa. Um, yeah, it's a little bit cidery. Yeah, oh yeah, cidery chimba. Offering good capri and cider, maybe because they have a, uh, it's a cider place too. Um, that's what I can say about both this, uh, wow, uh, Double Mountain Brewery and the Cidery. Maybe that's why, uh, yeah, they both have like a little apple skin taste to it. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, it says right there, they're both really good. They're, 
I mean, a hubby course, that's really kind of like a fruity course. Um, I don't think I've had something like that. Uh, I had a lot of cultures and a lot of hobby other else, but uh, pretty pretty fantastic. And yeah, it has a, a bit of an ap apple taste to it. it. It is great. They're both fantastic. Uh, congrats to uh, Double Mountain Dog Rabbit from all the beers I had from the Craft Beer Club which uh, you gotta watch all my other videos to, to see. Uh, this too have been my favorite, uh, definitely. Uh, and in sizes of all the breweries I've had, Dog Rabbit is in my top 100, easily around 78, 80 something. Uh, I drink a lot of beer. Um, and this one's on the higher 60s and something. Uh, yeah, uh, there's just too much beer in this world. And uh, San Diego and Tijuana has some of the best beer in this world. Uh, Oregon has some of the best beer in this world too, and so, so does Seattle, and, I, and there's too much beer in this world. I hope I can continue drinking the beer of this world. If you support me on Patreon, please sign up on my YouTube, hit like and subscribe and all that other... <laughs> Look at me getting better at doing videos and shit. According to my head, right? It, it doesn't really matter, but... Whoever's watching, I'm thankful. This is already too long too. And my friends are probably done with Dota. Dota! Uh, so, I should go play and drink the rest of these beers. And it's, it's Monday. I, I shouldn't be... No. Take care. Drink beer. Enjoy beer. Love life. And, you know, come to Tijuana. It's me. Let's, 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 let's drink some beer if you're, if you're down. All right.